looking at the heat haze on this beautiful Adelaide street circuit. And race number three of the Boost Mobile Super Trucks have been a real crowd hit on their return to the birthplace in Australia, that is. Sean Richardson and Greg Gardner starting on the front row for the first one, or the final one of the weekend here. Bill Hines and Sarah Price, Matt Minge, Luke Banner and the like. But it's the back row of Brabham and Gordon here, Andy Jones, that are going to be the ones to keep an eye on. They're battling for the overall round honours here in the Boost Mobile Super Trucks. He or she with the most amount of points, starting from the back. Good chance for this guy looking for a good run here today. The farmer from Panola here in South Australia, Greg Gartner, lining up. And we look at Robbie Gordon at the back of the field. We're guaranteed excitement. We're guaranteed some jumps. And you're always guaranteed action. Absolutely, you are. And there's Matty Brabham off to the left-hand side in the Carlisle entry. Those two will want to move forward. We're now on board with Paul Morris in the Hulk 4x4 entry. He'll have to take flight before he even gets to the start line. So, waiting for the countdown. And it is. It's away. Gardner a bit slow away. Hines was the best in the Continental Tires entry just behind, but had to back up. You can see him throw his hands up in the cockpit. He's usually a demon starter. He started off the front row more times than anybody in the history of this series, dating back to 2013. The field getting through the centre chicane in single file. That's the instruction from USAC's Jason Smith to keep it nice and tidy for the first of eight laps. It's untidy already for Hines, who loops in front of the group. And now it's a parking lot here at Turn 4. Yeah, that meant Vanna had nowhere to go. And he went round taking out Matt Minge with him. Paul Morris, though, he was able to clear that little incident pretty quickly. He hasn't given away too much time, but there's a car park currently at Turn 4. So essentially give us two packs here to race with for the time being, but that's the beauty of the competition caution here that will stack up the field in the latter half of this first part. Brabham, Gordon and Morris. But those guys are already well inside the top 10. 7th, 8th and ninth. There is the dude, former series champion, but Smiley leads the way. Greg Gardner, the farmer, going a lot faster than normal today. Down towards turn number nine. Here comes Sarah Price looking for the move on Sean Richardson. The VP Racing Fuels entry, the Californian, on the charge, runs in third position. And look how much Sean Richardson's truck was moving around under brakes there. Sarah Price has another look. She backs out of it. That's probably the wiser move. Oh, all four wheels on the inside there at turn 11. No issue for the stadium super truck. That's fine. That's legal, very legal. She wouldn't have even felt going over those curbs. Would have got shadier for a moment. Here's Robbie Gordon. Lots of brakes being locked up, lots of tyre smoke sent into the very warm air that is Adelaide today. Gordon, eighth position in the Speed Energy Menards at number seven. But they're stacked up by Sean Richardson. Sarah Price pulling to the outside to make the move. Shay Davies going with her. His first run in the series, and it's been very competitive since the first practice session here on Thursday. Ah, oh, they spray some gravel out of the gravel trap down there at turn three. They have been warmed as a driver group. We'll be okay with a little bit of curb, the odd rock here and there, but if you start spraying too many, you'll be pulled up for it. Back on board now with Robbie Gordon as he navigates his way through the staircase. Tuck, tucked right up behind Matty Brabham as Matty is just torque wheelie. like a Sunday cruise, isn't it? So take a look at the start. See, Hines was quick to jump, but nowhere to go in the Continental Tyres entry with Gardner at the front. This was inside the Speed Energy entry. Both Gordon and Brabham having to clear a ramp before they start. Hines looked like he went before everybody else then stopped. And maybe that's why he put his hand up. He maybe. was furious with himself, and then he went. He does take himself very seriously. He means business in this series. They don't use a light system, it's a, a flag system that's used in the Super Truck Series. This is Gordon on the outside, but this is the traffic jam that was having... Oh, how's the reflexes? Nothing wrong with Robbie Gordon's there at the top of turn number four. That's how he made up so many positions. And for all the kids watching at home that want to get involved in motorsport, that there's a perfect example of why you keep your eyes up. The earlier you can see the incident, the greater the chance of avoiding it. Look, Robbie Gordon, textbook. Minge was probably the loser out of that group, getting sandwiched in at the top of turn four. Here's the view from the concrete wall, looking back at the Continental Tyres entry. And that shuffled up the group, putting Minge to 12th position and Luke Banner in that Star Electrical entry. Kind of a 38. Oh, wow, look at Paul Wheel. 
He's on the on the handbrake there, got the rears locked up. He's got a forklift knob on that steering wheel trying to catch the slide. One hand on the handbrake, one on the steering wheel. He's Pretty busy. busy for Paul Wheel inside that truck. Toby Price sliding across the curbs on the exit of right. Turn 9. Geez, that's busy in there, Matt. How's the shot? Four wide on Wakefield Road as we go back to the action at turn number four. Brabham on the back of Sarah Price with Gordon and Toby Price at the back of this group of cars. Fourth, fifth and sixth. Lap three of eight here in the final race of the Boost Mobile Super Trucks. Chad Nalon again has got the best category to watch from down in pit lane. Let's go to him now. Yeah, I found Nathan Kayser, who has been instrumental in bringing the Stadium Super Trucks back to Australia. And how good to see them at the spiritual home in Australia back in Adelaide. Yeah, it is, Chad. It's great to be back in Adelaide. You know, this is where it all started. Uh, the first time we had him here in 2.15. And, uh, yeah, to be back here after a year off is uh, exciting. And the guys are putting on a great show. Look at these guys throwing down at Turn 9. What can we expect to see for the rest of the season? Because plenty of rounds coming up. Yeah, so we're off to Tassie next, then New Zealand, across to Perth. Then uh, we'll go Townsville, Darwin, Sydney Motorsport Park and finish at Gold Coast under lights. So, you know, the guys are really excited. And, you know, I think we're only going to get better every race. And Tassie, we're really looking forward to. Yeah, me too. Tassie's going to be wild. Thank you. No worries. Thanks. It's a guy that hasn't slept in the last couple of years trying to get this all back together and piece back the pieces of the Super Truck Series was instrumental in getting it to Adelaide back in 2015 along with Craig Dantas and Nathan Kayser sitting back and observing all the hard work to get this series off. Oh, Sarah Price landing on the front wheels now at the control line. So we're halfway home in this race. Price with a group of uh, trucks behind now. Lots of gravel. You know what? They were warned about this in the briefing. They should use reverse psychology. It Go through the gravel. It doesn't seem to be making any difference, does it, whatsoever? Every lap we come through turn three, <laughs> there's more and more gravel being thrown around everywhere. Now, it was great to get confirmation from Nathan on where Stadium Super Trucks will be appearing throughout 2020. But while we were hearing from him, Robbie Gordon put on a big move around the outside of Matty Brabham, and he went up over the curbs on the exit of turn nine, and they battled all the way through to turn 11. Robbie Gordon getting the upper hand. Great racing. So across the ramp, we've Gartner leading this race. 3.7 seconds ahead of Davies, Price, Gordon and Matt Brabham. Final race of the weekend from the streets of Adelaide. Staying in car with the dude, the Hog 4x4 entry. We've got smoke from Toby Price. Rare to see that, and that wasn't engine related, I don't think. It's when the truck leaned down through the middle of the corner. Was it from the back of the truck? You got keen eyes? Yeah, it looks like it's coming from that left rear wheel because the way the fiberglass panels on these trucks sit, there's so much clearance so that they can jump and land and not wreck the bodywork. Let's see if this tells the story. Whoa, harsh landing. Jeez, if you were a dentist around here, you'd give your card out, wouldn't you, Matt? Yeah. There's plenty of teeth <laughs> getting wrecked throughout this weekend. There's a few people making some comments. Oh, what's Matt Brabham doing? That's easy. He's still on the track, technically. A few people suggesting that they haven't really been trying this weekend. Well, you save the best to last usually in these scenarios with the limited amount of spares they've had. Now the shackles have been taken off. And it's checkers or wreckers from this point. Price, as Toby Price on Sarah Pi Price. No relation. Of course, Toby's out. Dakar legend. Sarah Price, who's making only a third start in super truck racing, but the first one since late 2017 at the baseball stadium at Lake Elsinore in California, about 10 minutes drive from her house. This feels pretty angry in this little pack here. There's not a lot of patience going on and Toby Price is pretty comfortable running right on the back of Sarah Price like that. Makes me concerned though. It will only take a little, little bump from Toby Price to upset the rear of Sarah Price's truck. And around she'll go. Now, here comes that competition caution, Matt. Nicely done. Got the accent as well going on. So the yellows wave. That's the agreed point. That's the smoke from the left rear again. Replay. Heading down to the final turn. It's Gordon and Brabham. Line up Sarah Price. And get the job done down at turn number nine. Replay from inside to speed energy number seven. Wow, look at the speed that Robbie Gordon carries across the face of turn eight. Huge amount of confidence. And then just textbook under brakes. 
up the inside and a very, very clean pass on Sarah Price. But there was plenty going on after Robbie was able to execute this move. I just had a look again at the rear of Toby Price's truck, just trying to work out exactly where that smoke is coming from now. Not a qualified mechanic, Matt, but two things will happen here. That'll either fix itself or the oil will burn away and we won't get any more smoke either no. way. But it'll come to a rapid stop. Correct. It's an each way bet. So this is part of the competition. If you've never seen Boost Mobile Super Trucks before, it used to be a full lap of competition caution, but a change to that two seasons back at Detroit due to the length of the circuit means we only do it for the last sector of a lap to regroup and for the likes of Minge, Vanna and Hines who got caught up in the car park in turn number four. This is their chance for redemption. Paul Will getting excited for the restart here. Greg Gardner continues to lead in the RMJ Batteries entry in the final race of the Boost Mobile Super Trucks. Down to the centre chicane we go. Gordon from the back row runs in third position with Matt Brabham. Then it's Sarah Price, Toby Price, Paul Wheel, and the rest of the field to charge up. Wakefield Street begins. And that is Davies on the absolute limit. Greg Gardner, this would be a massive moment to do it in front of his home crowd here in South Australia. Long way to play out in this one. And why Shay Davies is in such a hurry here is because he'll be able to see Robbie Gordon, Matty Brabham, Toby Price behind him, who will all be giving him a bit of a hurry up. Now, if he can clear Gardner, he'll have some free time while the others have to get by Gardner, but it could work the other way here, Matt. And that's why Shay wants to get clear. Can't get the job done. In a minute, he's going to come under fire from Robbie Gordon, who is super, super confident, particularly through this phase of the lap when we followed him on board before. Look at the speed he carries. Davies down the inside of Gardner. Mega impressed with Shay Davies. He's going to take the lead. Gardner needs to try and cover off Gordon because he might just lose two spots. He needs to sweep back across the front, and he does. So he's back to second position. What a debut run this will be for the man from Main Beach on the Gold Coast. His first look in a super truck, and he leads here at Adelaide. Great job by Gartner also. He's looking really comfortable in this truck, able to run at the moment. Good job to just cut Robbie Gordon off, not allow him up the inside. Very defensive. Needs to be careful, though, Gartner, that he's not too defensive there. Requiring a lot of lock to get around the final corner. Now, this is Matty Brabham that we can just see to the right-hand side of the shot. They can almost hold hands across the ramp there. They're that close. Back in the single file for the centre chicane. So Davies, Gardner, and now Sarah Price has had a moment, whether it's a spin or some assistance. She bags up the VP Racing Fuels entry and drops down to 10th position. Gordon, door's been left open, but won't be able to do it there. Sean Richardson has come into the pits while the leading group are at the top of Wakefield Street. Two laps to go here. This might explain oh, why Richardson's heading back to the pits. Facing the wrong way. Had a tough week in the Trans Ams, and it's a flat right rear tyre while he's going back. And I wouldn't expect to see that back out there. They don't have the luxury of rattle guns down there. It's all old school technology. Deliver it for the Super Truck Series. Back inside with Gordon third position race winner and Shay Davies is on a flying lap here as well what an addition flying lap he's nearly a second faster than everybody else in the first sector alone so Robbie Gordon's in a hurry there we go he's going to get the job done on Gardner courtesy of that speed and confidence that he's got through turn eight Matty Brabham wants to push the envelope as well and try and go around the outside of Gardner you look at these trucks move around. I'm not sure I'd be that comfortable on the outside there, but Brabham getting the job done really well. And they, in unison, they look like they just folded apart as they took off over the ramp behind the pit bay here. Want to go in this one, Chad? Yeah, <laughs> that to feel the noise as these guys come by. And at the same time, just grab a quick word with Sean Richardson. He will not be able to hear me right now when these cars go past. I'm just going to give this one second. Hey, Sean, not your day between the Trans Ams and the Stadium Super Trucks. It's uh, been a rough day. Tell us what happened down there at Turn 9. Yeah, uh, 
Well, if you've ever wanted to know just how loud it is down here in pit lane, I think that sums it up. Sorry, Sean, couldn't get a word of that. Amongst all the noise, I think he said he copped some contact and blew the tyre out. They're trying to put a new one on, and he's frustrated. It's been a tough weekend. The Trans Am program didn't go to plan, and neither has the super truck effort. And now Morris gets into Gartner. Gartner falling down the order here. So the dude is fired up in the final lap here. And Morris having to go ultra defensive at turn seven to hold Toby Price at bay. So Shay Davies navigating through turn eight for the last time, Gordon. And that's how it looks from the round point of view, right? Now Gordon, Brabham and Price will be the overall top three, even though Davies is leading it. The guys just ahead have been more consistent over the weekend. There is Toby Price and Paul Morris on the final lap. Gardner, who led this race, is going to have to settle for his equal best result once again in the Boost Mobile Super Truck Series. But it's Shay Davies who got one test day at a very wet Queensland raceway just a couple of weeks back. Both he and Luke Banner have full time for this year. Brabham with the awkward landing just gets it pulled up and almost drilled the speed energy number seven. But it's going to be Shay Davies. We're watching the battle for second and third. It's going to be Gordon and it's going to be just more than a truck length in the final race of the weekend of Boost Mobile Super Trucks at the Super Loop Adelaide 500. What a moment for this guy. Shay Davies, genuinely quick, and wins the final race with some pretty talented company behind him, if I might add. Yeah, and if you're questioning whether or not he's happy, and you mentioned before, are these guys trying hard? Well, the way he was fist pumping the air there, I'm saying he's happy and he's trying hard. How's this oh. replay, Matt? And how's the landing? He just got into the seven. It's rare to see Brabham make those kind of mistakes. How cool's the camera work? Across the ramps, 100 metres apart, and landing just two tenths of a second away from each other. Here it is from high above. So that right front lockup from Gordon has been there all weekend. I think it just caught Brabham out a little bit, and when he landed, he got on the brake really hard. It locked the rear tyres. And there he just slid into the side of Gordon. While that was going on, Shea Davies was having a moment. Woo. Chalks up his first victory in his first weekend in a super truck by one second to Robbie Gordon, Matt Brabham, Greg Gartner was fourth here today ahead of Morris, Price, Paul Will, Luke Vanner, Bill Hines and Sarah Price completing the top ten in the final race of the weekend. Have to do it again, Andy. Breathing in, breathing out. What a weekend of racing, and congratulations to Shay Davies. Robbie Gordon will win the overall by two points and kick off the Boost Mobile Super Truck Series in style. And now, Shay Davies, he's been looking forward to this part the most. <laughs> Promoting the upcoming Darwin event at Hidden Valley Raceway, where the trucks will be at once again. They'll feature in Tasmania at the Simmons Plain Circuit in a few weeks' time. We take a look at the highlights. I tend to agree, I think Heinz did creep, then jump back on the brakes and reset, allowing Greg Gardner to get a nice lead into the first set of turns. But Heinz, I think he unnerved himself here, spinning at the top of turn number four, creating a car park and seeing several of the key names dropping down the order. Yeah, very easy when you make a little mistake like that on the start line and jump to get out of sequence and out of rhythm. and. No such issue for Paul Wheel. That was his sequence and rhythm when he was trying to catch the slide in that PWR truck on the run down to Turn 9. It wasn't the only busy moment down at Turn 9. Robbie Gordon trying to go around the outside of Matty Brabham with Sarah Price keeping them both at bay. Every other category stays off that big curb on the inside of the Turn 9 hairpin, but not the super trucks. They love that. It gives them a bit of grip. This was Sarah Price landing almost like that in game did. In race number one on Friday, she was dropped down to 10th position in the end. She was strong in the early stages, and hopefully we'll see the Californian back in the series on a more regular basis in the 2020 series. She certainly loves racing these trucks, and she loves coming out to Australia. There was this awkward moment. We didn't really get to the bottom of it, but the ending result was a flat right rear continental for Sean Richardson, and that's a tough weekend for him. This was Gordon down the inside of the sky blue. 
RJ Battery's entry of Greg Gardner, who had to yield to the pressure from the champions behind him. And Shay Davies, unfazed and unchallenged at the end, picking up his first win in Boost Mobile Super Trucks in the final race at Adelaide.